For all fresh contents, subscribe, press the bell icon, and never miss an update from Texada. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkan from Afghanistan, and in this video I want to show you how to install Mac OS X El Capitan on any computer running Windows operating system. We all know Apple's Mac operating system is a great operating system with great features, but most of us cannot afford to buy one. And in this video I want to show you how you can install Mac OS X inside your Windows computers without spending a penny. So keep watching this video till the end and I will show you everything step by step. So let's get started. Before you start the installation process, make sure virtualization technology is enabled on your computer. By default, virtualization is already enabled on most of the computers. In case if yours is not enabled, then restart your computer and boot your computer into BIOS setup or BIOS. Since I am using an HP laptop, I have to press escape key to get into startup menu. So here is the startup menu. So here it says press F10 to go to BIOS setup. Okay, here is the BIOS setup. Now using arrow keys, navigate to system configuration page which is right there. And at this page you can see an option by the name of virtualization technology as you can see. Here it is. Mine is currently disabled. You have to enable it in order to install any kind of virtual virtual machine into your computer. If virtualization technology is disabled, then you won't be able to install any kind of virtual machine on your computer. So to enable it, just select it and hit enter and choose the enable option. Hit enter again. Now you can see now virtualization technology is enabled. Now press F10 from keyboard to save the changes and exit from this page so hit enter after that your computer will restart and you are good to go after enabling virtualization on your computer the second thing you want to do is to go to control panel and go to folder option or file explorer options if you are using windows 10 now click on view tab and check mark this option show hidden files folders and drives just click apply and ok we are going to need this later on this video after that go to the link in the description below and download image file of mac os x el capitan which is about 7 gigabytes download it on your computer the second thing you want to do is to download vmware workstation i will leave both of these in the description below you can get it from there once you downloaded those two files on your computer First of all, install VMware Workstation on your computer. Just install it as usual. Click next, I agree and those stuff. Next, next. And make sure this option is ticked. Then click on next, 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 install. While the software is installing, you can extract this OSX file. Just right click on it and extract it wherever you want. In my case, I am going to extract it in the same folder. So I am going to click on extract and this is going to take a while because this is going to extract about 10 gigabytes of files. So this is going to take a while. So you have to wait for it. Our software is also installing. Once the extraction is completed, open up Mac OS X El Capitan folder. Now open this folder by the name of unlocker. Now double click on this unlocker folder. Inside this folder, you have to look for a file by the name of win-install.cmd. Just right click on this file and run it as administrator. Click on yes. And this is going to run some kind of script on your computer. This is going to close automatically by itself. Okay, once it's done, close it and open up VMware workstation. After that, click on open a virtual machine. Now navigate to the folder where you have extracted your files. In my case, this is the folder where I have extracted my files. Inside that folder, you have to look for a file by the name of osxelcapitan.vmx. Once you select this folder, then click on open. After that, click on this edit virtual machine settings. On settings page, you can edit some settings. You can change the memory of your virtual machine, processors, storage and all those stuff. So I'm going to change memory and decrease it to 4 gigabytes 
you can also decrease and increase this ram for your virtual machine on processor i leave it as it is you can also change these things if you want so i'm going to leave it as it is so i'm going to click on ok after that click on power on this virtual machine whenever you see some pop-ups like this just click on ok and now as you can see there is an apple logo and it's loading okay now select your country in my case i'm going to go with united states because our country afghanistan is not listed here so i'll go with united states and click continue okay us continue now select the last option then click on continue uh, continue don't use and you can use your apple id if you want so i'm not going to use my apple id so click continue escape click on agree yes and now give your virtual machine a name in my case i'm going to give my channel's name okay password just a random password after that click on continue select your region in this map so I'll go with United States continue continue and now our Mac operating system is almost ready and there we have our Mac OS installed in our Windows computers but we are we are not done yet we are we are almost there you might notice at the bottom as you can see there's a pop-up that says install tools and something like that whenever you see this option just click on install tools and close after that as you hit install tools you will get something like this if you don't get this pop-up just close it and there will be a file by the name of vmware tools just double click on it and click on install vmware tools and that is going to install some tools for us and now you can see whenever i switch to full screen our operating system is inside a little window after installing this tool we will be able to use our virtual machine on full screen so click on continue just install password okay now installation completed just click on restart and this will restart your virtual machine after restarting virtual machine you will be able to use your mac operating system on full screen mode without any problem so let it restart now my mouse is stuck inside this virtual machine and i cannot move my mouse uh, whenever i click on it and it doesn't work because my mouse is stuck inside this virtual machine to get out of this virtual machine you can press ctrl and alt from your keyboard to get back to your computer now you can see my mouse is visible and it's working whenever i click on the screen my mouse disappears and my mouse isn't functional anymore and here is our virtual machine now let me switch to full screen and now as you can see now we are on full screen mode and without any problem now you can now you can use this Mac OS for whatever purpose you want now we have successfully installed Mac OS X inside our computer but there might be some questions on your minds like how to share files from our host computer or windows computer to this mac os and also how we can access usb storages or external storages on this mac well let me show you that first let's see how we can share files from our host computer to this virtual machine there are two ways you can share your files with this mac os or this virtual machine the first option is drag and drop just drag a file or folder inside your virtual machine and that will be copy it into your virtual machine as you can see now this is the file that I have shared with my virtual machine if drag and drop didn't work for you then there's another way you can share files or folders with this virtual machine on second step you have to shut down your virtual machine to do that go to your virtual machine and shut it down once your virtual machine is shut down click on this VM tab over here then click on settings from settings click on options tab then select shared folders which is currently disabled now click on the second option which is always enabled after that click on this add button over here now click on next now browse select a folder or file that you want to share with your virtual machine in my case I'm going to select a folder from my 
D drive let's say i want to share this folder with my virtual machine which is video songs just click on ok give your folder a name make sure your folder name doesn't have space instead of space you can use underscore after that click on next select the first option select the second option if you want but the first option is most used click on finish then click on ok after that you can turn on your virtual machine and after that you must see your files or folders that you have shared Okay, once your Mac OS is booted up, click on go, then click on network. After that, click on this icon over here or button. Then you will see a name by the name of VMware shared folders. And there is the folder that we have shared from our Windows computer. Now let me show you how you can connect your external storage such as USB drive or external hard disk to your virtual machine or Mac operating system. So as you can see here I have a USB flash drive in which I have some files and now I'm going to show you how you can connect it to your Mac operating system or your virtual machine. Okay now my virtual machine is currently on. To connect a USB drive just go to VM then select removable devices. As you can see my CD drive network adapter are already connected and now I'm going to connect my USB pen drive. To do that select your USB pen drive's name then click on connect. Then click on ok. Now your USB drive connected. So let me switch to full screen to see it. As you can see this is my USB pen drive so let me open it. As you can see inside this pen drive I have some files. You can connect any kind of external storage to your virtual machine. That is super duper easy. Okay guys, that's it. That is how you can install Mac OS X on your Windows computer. I would like to thank you for watching this video till this point. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this with you with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. That would be highly highly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, then please subscribe my YouTube channel with notification on. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a nice day.